No niin. Täällä ollaan taas <laughs> uuden peli, pelin parissa. Ää, kyseessä on Metal. Tämä on niistä yhden tyypin tekemä <laughs> parodia peli Metal Gear Solid pelisarjasta. Ää, katsotaas. Ää, Unepic Fran on tämän kehittäjä. Ja tämä on niinku nimenomaan Retro 2D-grafiikalla enemmän Metal Gear 1 ja 2 suuntaan ehkä. Mutta niinku, mä oon per- pelannut tämän demoa, tiedän jonkin verran alusta, mutta katso, nyt tää on, tulee olemaan melkoista parodia. <köhön> Joo. Ei, ei muuta kuin vaan sitten hypätään, hypätään seikkailuun tai mitä tää nyt sitten onkaan. Once upon a time, a Soviet war helicopter entered Allied territory. The aircraft was intercepted and shot down. As the pilot emerged from the wreckage, he was arrested by the same bastards who shot him down. And later was brought to a military base for interrogation. That pilot was me. Name? My name is Fox. Jesse Fox. Jesse Fox. <laughs> you don't seem to be Russian. Russian? Me? You were piloting a Russian aircraft two hours ago. I also drive a Toyota, and I'm not Japanese. <laughs> that point All right, Mr. Fox. Before arresting you, I'm obligated to write down a report with your version of the facts. So tell us what the hell you were doing in that heavily armed Soviet helicopter. It's a long story. Sergeant? Bring us some coffee. Yes, sir. Wakowski, bring the lieutenant some coffee. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, Mr. Fox, hey, head of folks. Explain what happened. In 1972, a crack commando unit threw me in a prison for a crime I didn't commit. You're under arrest for a crime you didn't commit. I promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the underground, trying to survive from these soldiers of fortune. Let's start from the beginning. How did you escape from that cell? Piece of cake. I just had to write a note. A note? Where'd you get the paper from? I used toilet paper. I see. And how did you find a pen? A pen? I was in a dirty, grimy cell, not in an office. I wrote the note with a rusty wire, using my own blood and... (laughs) scratched my arm with the wire and got to work. It wasn't easy. The toilet paper tore under the pressure of the bloody wire. Those bastards gave us cheap paper. One ply, unscented and untouched. Those bastards. Why did you break the toilet? Why not grab the paper like a normal person? <laughs> you know how prison is. It's kill or be killed. Uh-huh. And I wasn't going to be killed by some dirty toilet. Right. Hey, you moron. Holy Jesus. You schmuck. Do you really think I'd be stupid enough to kill myself? Kill myself? Ah. guard locked in the cell. Then I threw away the key and got out of there. Mr. Fox, what about the noose? Where did you get that from? Where did I get the noose? Are you seriously asking me that? (laughs) I am, Mr. Fox. I'll tell you later. When leaving the cell, 
I found myself in a prison yard surrounded by some buildings. There were piles of boxes and other stuff here and there. Uh -huh. The ground was plain dirt. Oh, and it was night. Tää hakkaa tiesä kaikesta läpi. contained some filthy cloth scraps. I made some handy bandages to prepare for when I would get wounded. Uh -huh. Bad news. Dirty cloth rags don't heal you. They just stop the bleeding, and I ain't got time to bleed. Good news. I could reuse these rags as much as I wanted. Good dirty cloth is hard to come by. Uh -huh. Great day, how you? I thought everyone would be asleep at night, that it was safe to escape. I was dead wrong. I noticed the presence of... One guard on the night shift. You. <laughs> 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 oh, the idiot! You keep punching those crates. What did you expect to happen? <laughs> Nothing in particular. Then why this gratuitous violence? I don't know. I suppose I got lost in the moment. <laughs> you know, for being imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit. <laughs> Vähän jotain patoutumia. Ja, klassinen. Sormuksia vaan löytyy. Se on ollut vessakin vieressä, mutta no. Outside, move along at night time, and sleep during the day. 
What about you, Colonel? I've been tortured. My legs won't make it. But if you bring me a radio, I can help you escape. Hold on. Harris, are you sure you heard him say Alan Harris? Yes, sir. Saw him yesterday. Look, Mr. Fox, Colonel Harris died a month ago in an ambush. Well, it's the name that stubborn old man gave me. I see. I'll write down on the report that you talked to Colonel Harris after his death. Continue uh -huh. your story. As I was saying, I searched for a radio to bring him. Under some crates, I found my salvation. A sewer hole. There was no ladder and I couldn't see the bottom. I needed to find a ladder or rope if I wanted to go down. Uh -huh. No, kannatte ainakin hakata noita. Kätevää. I took a coin off the guard. Money? What'd you intend to spend it on? I suspect there's no shops open for an escapee on a midnight run. Who said anything about spending? I used it to distract soldiers. I quickly found out that guards love picking up free coins off the ground. Uh -huh. I picked up the guard's radio. Without encryption, I knew other guards could listen in on my conversations with Harris. I see. You still haven't told me how you got that news. <laughs> I'll tell you later. As I was saying, I needed to find a special encryption circuit to install in the radio. Hard mode artifact. Uh huh. I had the circuit. I just had to attach it to the radio. With the modified radio, I could speak to Harris with no one listening. Now, I just had to bring it to him. And the noose? Later. Missä se oli kaari? Oliks tää edellinen ruutu? Ei. Jesse here. Over. J. 
Jesse here. Over. Jesse here. Over. Stop it. Stop it. Just mun tyylistä, että piti unohdin missä mihin pitää piti viedä. I'll call you through channel one as soon as I find another. Good luck, son. And Godspeed. Niinpä tietysti. Tästä, mutta meni kuitenkin. Encrypted, I could talk to Harris. I wouldn't have been able to escape without his help. I hate to admit it, but the grumpy old man gave some good advice. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. Sewer found. I'm looking for a rope or something to go down. There must be some around. Search thoroughly. Paljolla on nyt kyllä vaan. Ähä. Uranipalloja. Selvä. You stole a one-eyed man's patch? A one-eyed man that would shoot me without hesitation? Because it was his job, what you did was macabre and suggest you might have a fetish. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Well, that patch turned out to be handy to create a lethal weapon. I have no paper. Can you bring me some? Here you are. Th 
Thanks, man. <laughs> you saved my ass, literally. What the fuck? What sort of paper is this? It's only one ply, unscented and unpatterned. <laughs> it's the kind the prisoners use. Fuck, that's why their hands stink so much. Uh. By the way, who are you? I don't recognize your voice. I'm Lieutenant Marcus Stevenson. Lieutenant, you say? Sir, I apologize for my manners. I did not know your rank, sir. Relax and clean up your rear guard well. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Loves it. You removed his glass eye, too? <laughs> took it out because it was suspicious. What was suspicious? Why did a one-eyed man have a glass eye under an eye patch? He'd be using a patch or an eye, but not both. Maybe the eye was some sort of secret device. I kept it just in case. Right. Men det är bara så roligt. ran into a guard as I went in. <laughs> Luckily, the guy was sleeping. That bastard was going to have a rude awakening. Searching. Come on, son. There must be a rope somewhere. <laughs> the lethal weapon you created with the patch was a slingshot? Sort of childish, don't you think? What were you gonna shoot? Pebbles? Depleted uranium balls. <laughs> Three shots and goodbye, guard. Ah. Uh what -huh. is the way up? Mua vähän epäilyttää tämän aseen teho, mutta... Viisi kutia vaan. Okei. Seitsemän, seitsemän kutia. Copy. I copy you. Do you already have something to go down? Not yet. I'm still searching. 
Come on, son. There must be a rope somewhere. Sikari etsia. With those first aid kits, I could disinfect and heal my wounds. Good news, those kits stopped any bleeding and also healed my wounds over time. Bad news, once you used them, they were gone. Sikareita. Miks tää on uranipalloja ympäri se? Out of this hole. If you're in a cell, it's because you committed a crime. And I don't free criminals. But you're a prisoner too. <laughs> I've been imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit. Fuck you. <laughs> hey friend, I'm also innocent. Uh. That's what they all say. Please, they keep the key in that box. Dude. Oops. Oh, what a pity. The key broke. You bastard! <laughs> the end of the tape has it. Pista. Mu Jesse. Again? Of course. The Sarge says to the soldier, someone sent you a blank letter. The soldier says, it's from my wife, Sergeant. How do you know that, soldier? Because we argued and we don't talk to each other. I heard something. The soldier says to his captain, sir, I need to request leave for this weekend. Why do you need it, Private? I'm going to have a baby, sir. Congratulations, request granted. Next week, the captain asks him, Private, was it a boy or a girl? And the soldier replies, I reached a special place where I found something. What, Mr. Fox? It was... What was it? Damn, I can't remember. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Narraattori ei mun nyt muista tällä hetkellä, että mitä tuolla oli. Hey, a coin. You're not going to pick it up, right? Yeah, why not? Come on, Mike, it's the oldest trick ever. As soon as you crouch down, smack. Smack what? The owner will show up and kick your ass. The Sarge says to the soldier, someone sent you a blank letter. The soldier says, it's from my wife, Sergeant. How do you know that, soldier? Because we argued. Escaping prisoner. <laughs> No niin, pati asti. Löytyy nyt köysiä lisää ammuksia. Grenade guy. Uh huh. Yeah, I wanted to punch the hell out of him, but I couldn't reach him. Why couldn't you reach him? There was a ditch. A simple ditch stopped you. This was no mere simple ditch. It was full of tentacles. Uh huh. And blood-stained spears that moved up and down. Right. The arms that tried to grab me, and deadly lays. Okay, okay, Mr. <laughs> Fox, I get it. You couldn't reach him. For your own good, I'll not include the spears, arms, and tentacles <laughs> in my report. <laughs> now, Mr. Fox, please continue your story. All right. The fight began as he tossed the first grenade at me. I searched the grenade guy. Wait, wasn't there a ditch? I used the bridge. What bridge? Right. You couldn't cross the ditch. Because I didn't see it at first. I was completely focused on my opponent, the grenade guy. Uh -huh. I see. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get on steel fists in. Yeah, heti tekee lyö kovempa. Tää. No tää varsinainen tali aivo tää kyllä. Fox here. Over. What is it, Fox? I found a rope to go down the sewer. And you're not down yet? What the hell are you waiting for? I'm on it, Colonel. I couldn't see the bottom of that hole, but I anchored the rope and I went down. Uh 
Ja siellä on tullut jotain sal salaisuuksiakin. I anchored the rope and went down into the pitch darkness. Right. Finally I touched ground. I was in a sewer composed of narrow passages. There were channels of rotten water and narrow sidewalks. And the typical pipes and waste everywhere. It smelled like shit. The putrid air was barely breathable. But once my lungs got used to that stench, I started to investigate my surroundings. First off, I had to check the depth of the water. Tarkistaa ton veden syvyyden. severed arm in the water to calculate the depth. As soon as I did, it started shaking. When I pulled it back out, there was nothing but bones. I got the whole I couldn't explain what I saw, but my instincts told me this water might be dangerous. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna lie. I had trouble getting where I needed to go. In fact, I had to build a floating platform to get through. Worse yet, everything down there was out for my blood. Hold on, Mr. Fox. What exactly did you say attacked you? <laughs> what you just heard. Some sort of hybrid between piranha and human. A human piranha attacked you? I see. And in your opinion, could you elaborate how this hybrid could exist? <laughs> that question kept gnawing at the back of my brain the entire day. I dwelt on it over and over again. And after seeing everything I saw on that base, their facilities, their experiments, their labs, I reached the only logical explanation. And what was that, Mr. Fox? <laughs> That a woman, hell-bent on becoming a mother, was unable to afford standard artificial insemination. <laughs> so she sought illicit services on the black market instead. Yeah. And you know how the market is. Is in they scam you the with thing. any fake shit. She took up an offer from a back alley doctor who did the operation as requested. But she had yet <laughs> to find out that she was actually fertilized with piranha sperm. <laughs> Months passed, and she became the mother of a school of human piranha hybrids. The horrified woman flushed them down the toilet. They ended up in the sewers, where they would keep reproducing, creating a colony of human piranha hybrids. The same ones that attacked me. It right.
Son, do you copy? Copy, Colonel. I've been trying to contact you. There was no signal down in the sewers. Have you already escaped? Where are you now? Not much progress. I should still be near the prisons. Are you kidding me, Fox? You're still too damn close. You need to travel farther before coming topside. I know, but there are sewer channels blocking my way. Then build something to cross them, Fox. Find some materials. Where are you exactly? I think I'm in the office of some sort of officer. You should search for classified files about Operation Jericho. Take them with you. They're up to something. I don't know what. We must find out. The first file was about an attack plan. Its code name was Operation Jericho. I couldn't find many details because it was encoded. But anyone could understand a chart about casualties. Its lines went all the way to the top. Before leaving the office, I called Harris to let him know that I found the files. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found some documents. Operation Jericho. Looks like it talks about... an attack plan? Attack? Against what, son? I have no idea. It's encoded. I'll keep searching for more documents, Colonel. Operation Jericho is a rumor only known by a few officers and, of course, the enemy. How did you find out about it, Mr. Fox? As I told you, Colonel Harris asked me to search for files about it. The deceased Colonel Harris? Yes. I had the feeling that this officer didn't believe anything I was saying. <laughs> it's understandable. I don't believe you either. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Well, Miss Incredulous, why ask me to tell you the story? Well, I <laughs> like to work <laughs> with the tarina, and since there are no <laughs> so, what was Operation Jericho? Turns out that location was actually a clandestine base. With a company code named X Army, commanded by someone named General X, mm -hmm. they were planning a large scale attack against Allied posts. And that plan was? Be patient. That comes later. Hey! Don't be like that. Come on, tell me! The officer that was taking my statement was also curious about what I knew. And what exactly do you know about Operation Jericho, Mr. Fox? That it was a hell of an operation. Harris and I knew the details thanks to the files we found. Correction, I found. Again, how much did you exactly find out? Let me continue. You'll find out later. <laughs> so there's an all day. Uh... Colonel, do you read me? first file was about an attack plan. Its code name was Oper- The first file was about an attack plan. Its- Okei, niin tässä voi 
നേരിട്ടാണ് Jesse here. Over. Shit, there's no signal down here. Sergeant Roscoe here. What? Escaped? How? Through the sewers? Shit. No, don't send anyone. If he hides like a rat, he will die like a rat. Switch on the shredders. Right. Just hear a rat. Get out from your hole, you cowardly vermin! Look what the cat dragged in. The escaped prisoner. We've got some big balls coming here, rodent. The situation was Fubar. He was armed and hunkered down behind his desk. I was screwed. So what did you do? In five nanoseconds, I scrutinized the room and noticed a very subtle detail. There is a large globe in the middle of the room. Uh -huh. I already had what I needed to take him down. Uh-huh. I was injured and losing blood. I had... injured and losing blood. Piti vaan alentaa vaikeusastetta.
As I proceeded down the sewer sidewalk, I noticed a path nearby I couldn't reach. Uh-huh. Why not? It was across the sewer water. What was the distance to the other side? Metri. The yard, more or less. <laughs> Couldn't you just jump it? Since I was captured, I didn't jump a single time, and I wasn't going to start now. Uh -huh. I realized I needed something to cross to the other side. Fox here. Over. What is it, Fox? Still looking for something to cross the channels. Roger. Report back as soon as you find anything. Haha, <laughs> penis pelike on tehty. Saan ainakin tallennettua ne peli. Heading east, I ran into a hound. Uh -oh. A puppy. You didn't hurt it, did you? A puppy? That monster was the size of a horse. Even so, I wanted to see if it was friendly. Puppy, puppy. <laughs> are you a good boy? <laughs> but that hound was trained to kill. Its bloody eyes looked at me like I was a well done steak. Heading east, I re Aika <laughs> hyvät game overit tässä nää. Ehkä täältä löytyy jotain. Who's there? Damn cat. Ah. Who's there? <laughs> Damn T Rexes. <laughs> Hold on, weren't they extinct? Face, escaping prisoner, come back up. Tere eks oli väärä valinta. Hey, a coin.
heading south, I ran into a couple of trucks. That was my big chance to escape. But first, I had to get rid of the guards. <laughs> Once the guards were history, I examined the engine. I took a glance and my worst fears came true. It was an old diesel engine with no ad blue or particulate filter. Uh -huh. that mean? Running away in that truck would have polluted the area with nitrogen oxides and microparticles. And I wasn't willing to sacrifice the environment for a hasty retreat. Uh -huh. So I armed myself with patience and I kept searching for another way to escape. Well, Jesse, I didn't know you were so eco friendly. Well, it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, let me put the other thing. Okay, pian it out. Takas. Okei, tällä ei voi lähteä pakoon. Ali ja. Oh. 
Mr. Fox, I'm still waiting on an explanation for the news. <laughs> Tykkää Later pitää on, jännityks. Kertookohan se tyttö, jos täällä samoja juttuja, mitä kuulustelussa upseerille. Heading east, I ran into a hound. A pup? not looking that bastard won't move he's over here all the time fuck hold on i have an idea yo mike 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 <laughs> shut up i got pictures of your mom naked in the bathtub want to buy him real cheap you bastard i'm done with his shit just go shoot that bastard <laughs> i'm already on my way Burn in Nice. Thanks for the help. Thank you for knocking out that dick. By the way, name's Jesse Fox. I'm Mike. Hold on. Don't tell me the prisoner was also named Mike. <laughs> uh, no. Hold on. It wasn't Mike. I'm Robert. Let's see if I can get you out of here, Robert. Thanks, Fox, but no. If you escape, they'll shoot you. I'd rather be jailed than buried. You don't have a radio, do you? Hold on, I'll get one for you. Uuden platformi löytynyt sitten. Thank you, Ompi. Nothing interesting. Uh huh. I am, Robert. Hey, Robert, you don't look like a military <laughs> man. Of course not. I'm a photographer. Hold on. You're not a paparazzi, are you? <laughs> That's right. A paparazzi. And one of the worst kind, too. 
Damn, Robert, you must have fucked up royally to end up <laughs> This is a pretty, pretty crazy I've game. Seen things I wasn't meant to, Fox. Right. I thought about using the pallet as a floating platform, but it would sink under my weight. I needed to attach something to make it float. After making the platform, I had what I needed to cross the sewer channels to freedom. Hold on, Mr. Fox. The platform just vanished. <laughs> what? Of course not. I picked it up every time I got to the other side. You didn't mention that. Sounded like it vanished. Well, uh -huh. I didn't feel like I had to mention something so obvious. Then should I write down that you picked up the platform every time you used it? Yes, of course. Well, Mr. Fox, please continue with your story. Mr. Fox, the noose. <laughs> Later. Don't try my patience, Mr. Fox. Uh -huh. Way. How many rats were down there? <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
Hell yeah. The sewer was infested with assassin rats. They were everywhere, rushing to devour me alive. It was horrible. Felt like I was a huge chunk of cheese. <laughs> Right. Inside some debris, I found an old flamethrower. It was in bad condition, but I could fix it. The worst part was the fuel tank was savagely chewed apart. It couldn't be saved, so I set out to replace it. to replace the flamethrower's broken fuel tank before I could fill it up. Okay. Oh, okay. After the repairs, my flamethrower was ready. The tubes were covered in rust, so I took great care to avoid overheating it.
Yeah, it's all done. You must have been very lonely down there. <laughs> yeah, I had some company. Uh huh. Super chunk. Tentacles? Well, now that you mention it. <laughs> it had two dozen tentacles. Um. I nearly had that thing dead, but then my luck turned south. The old flamethrower? Exploded due to a gasoline leak. This is a fix while it's automatically heavy. I mean, you must have been very lonely down there. Nah, I had some company. Thing had tentacles? Well, now that you mention it, it had four pairs of tentacles. Fiksua kuitenkaan. Yli kuumentaa tota. You must have been very lonely down there. Nah. of tentacles.
Ufo. Pitäis olla antamatta se hajottaa noita siltoja, niin helpompi liikkua. dead but then my luck turned south the old flamethrower broke apart as i continued the fight so i finished it the old-fashioned way with my fists Okei, okay, yle, yletyn nyrkeillä.
Yes. Boss defeated. No niin. Hyvä homma. No. Mr. Fox, the gallows noose, tell me how you got it. I'll tell you later. Enough. You've tried my patience, Mr. Fox. <laughs> tell me right Tuota's now how you got that damn noose. noose. Or I'll kick your ass and throw you in isolation. Okay, okay. No need for that. I was just about to tell you. <laughs> Using the rusty wire. I extracted a yard of my own intestine. It was too <laughs> soft, so I left it to dry. It was eventually tough enough to hold my weight. Right. Out, having shorter intestines means you go to the toilet more frequently. Well, that that Is that really? the... How you got the news? Okay, get it out of the way. I lied to the officer. Why? Because no one threatens me to tell the truth. But how did you really get the noose? I'll tell you later. <laughs> Joo. Mä. Ai tällä olisi ollut salaisuuksiakin. Mä en tiedä kyllä mistä nää salaisuudet löytyy. <laughs> Alright. Tää on ehkä, ehkä tarpeeksi tätä peliä. The end of the tunnel was not the jungle I was hoping for. Instead, I found myself in what looked like an office. With cabinets, desks, and of course, a damn guard. Later, I'd realized that I was in one of the two main buildings of the military base. The building had three floors, hidden secrets, and a few unexpected surprises. Anyway, I headed towards the only exit, which was close to the first floor office I started in. <laughs> Alright, tää on kyllä, se on täyttä hajotusta tää koko peli. Ää, suosittelen, jos, jos tykkää tämmöstä typerästä huumorista ja, ja Metal Gear Solid-peleistä. Huomenna en varmaan striimaa, eli, eli tosiaan niin kun välipäivä tulee. Katsoo nyt sitten, mitä, mitä sun tuntana tekee. Mutta eli, eli tämä tältä kertaa tähän näin. Mistä se sai sen hirttosen? Ah, eight yeah.